What is up you guys, it's your best friend Sage25. Uh, I got a gameplay for you today and this is going to be the first part of a series that I'm going to call How to Win. I was trying to come up with a catchy name for it and I figured, uh, well I'm going to show you guys how to win so uh, let's call it How to Win. And this is How to Win Part 1. Uh, my setup um, is uh, the ACR with, uh, I don't know, I got the specialist setup and stuff, whatever. Um, in this edition, we're playing some Team Defender, so I'm going to show you how to win uh, in Team Defender um, on this map, and um, the strategy pretty pretty much goes for any map uh, for Team Defender, but uh, it's a pretty solid game, and we get set up and stuff. Um, I don't uh, particularly do the objective, mainly because um, I'm one of the top slayers, you know, killers, um, in this party that we have and so uh... we usually have a strategy where we have someone with a riot shield or a class like that that will try and grab the flag and basically bring it back to a location where we will team defend him um, a lot of people think oh our team has the flag i gotta run out and get tons of kills so we get uh... uh more points real quick if you haven't played team defender um, the the point is the point of the game is to um, try and get the flag. If you do, you get uh, 100 points per kill. And if you if you don't have the, the flag, this is for the whole team, your entire team. If your team does not have the flag, this is where I finally die. I didn't see that guy. Uh, if the other team has the flag, or it's a neutral flag, then uh, you only get 50 points per kill. So you get twice as many points if you're holding the flag. So it's very important. You can see now we're set up. Uh, we got a full party of six. We got the flag in the back corner back there. Stevlor just got blown up by a car though, so we dropped it. <coughs> but um, this is where you want to be on this map. Uh, it's, it's so easy to hold down. Uh, in Team Defender, it, the spawns are crazy, uh, to be modest. The spawns are insane. We already know the spawns are crazy in this game, right? Um, but in Team Defender, it's even worse. Um, so the best strategy uh, for this game type is to go to a corner because it's going to be one less area that you have to watch. You only have to watch, uh, you know, maybe your left and right or your left and middle and right instead of having to watch your back as well. Um, because if you don't bring the flag back to a corner like this, um, they will spawn on each side of you uh, back and forth and it's just so hectic and uh, it's really hard to manage. So this game type uh, it can get pretty crazy, but um, I know a lot of people don't play with full parties like this. But you can, if you have a mic, you can tell your team, you know, uh, hey guys, let's bring the flag back to this corner, you know, defend me. Um, or if you just bring the flag back to a corner, uh, your team will start spawning next to you and hopefully they'll get the idea. Uh, but if you do play with a party and you're looking for a strategy, this is the way to go. You can see Stevlord's back in the corner. He's probably got his riot shield on. I don't know. What happens a lot of times in Team Defender is people will set up in a room. Um, like, say, uh, if the enemy had the flag on this map and they took it to that, that middle uh, two-story, the White House. Um, a lot of teams like to sit up there and watch the staircases and stuff. But uh, too often you'll get shot through the walls because uh, people can see that um, red kill sign above the flag guys, the flag carrier's head. So, uh, and it's easy to shoot him through the wall. This is kind of a nice spot I just found in this game. I don't know. Behind this mailbox, you can peek out to both sides. And, uh, I don't know, it seemed to work for a little while. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys, uh, would like to see in, um, this How to Win series because. Um, I want to, I mean, most of the games I'm going to post anyway are going to be games in which uh, we win. Um, because nobody really likes to see somebody lose, I guess. Um, it's not as enjoyable. We kind of stomp these kids now that I think about it. We're up by uh, 5,500. That's pretty solid. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see and if you uh, like this idea for a series. I'm, going, I'm planning on uh, bringing you... Uh, any game type really, Team Defender, Free For All, um, Domination, and uh, on particular maps, if, you, if there's a particular map that you're struggling with, um, just let me know. 
By the way, this is recorded in theater mode. I'm having more, uh, I'm, I'm so stressed out right now. Uh, I got surgery in a couple days and I got uh, the, just the end of the semester and more uh, technical difficulties trying to get videos to you guys, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, so anyway, re theater mode's kind of annoying. It's all uh, jinky and it always makes you look worse than you uh, actually play, but it never makes you look better than, than you actually did. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be the end of the game. We're going to put a stomping on these kids. I'm going to go uh, 21 and 2 or something like that. Uh, please leave me some feedback. Leave me some love. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the near future with another video. Have a good day, y'all. Peace.